So, oh, let me fix my camera. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'm gonna have to work on it. Oh, it's crooked. Whatever. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm sitting up here. I'm eating an egg roll, two egg rolls, and a hot dog. I know that's the weirdest combination ever, but let's get into it. And I got my Snapple. I absolutely love Snapple. It is a must-have. So how's everybody's day going? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love absolutely love a beef hot dog. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Honey, it's so good. I'm gonna slide this up just a little bit. I gotta fix this piece right here. And y'all bear with me trying out some new stuff, new technology. Y'all know how that is. Some of y'all do when you first start and stuff. Mm. So y'all, I really want to talk about this topic, okay? Because it just happened. Let's read our Snapple quote for the day. A camel has three eyelids. Three, not one, three. Y'all, so, what's her name? B. Simone, right? B. Simone put out a comment on Twitter for what I don't know. But the girl gonna make a comment talking about something. I guess now she got her book. She got her money out. She made a comment and said that. I refuse to date a nine to five person. She doesn't want to date a nine to five person, which is completely understandable, okay? And the internet went crazy. Some people are like, well, how can you say that? You just started blowing up this year, you know, um, it, you need to humble yourself. I would never say anything like right that. So now she got on light skin teachers page, right? Mm. Mm -mm. And she's trying to explain herself to people. I'm like, but you you made a controversial comment, and I know why you did it. Because you want to stir some shit up because this book then came out. You know what I'm saying? Mm, look at that. You want to stir some shit up because this new book she got out, How to Manifest. I think that's what it's called, How to Manifest, okay? When it's talking about getting the life that you want. And stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. It looks like a good read. But you gotta understand this girl is gonna start from the bottom. She done made it. She hanging out with boss people. She hanging out with all the name brand celebrities, all the you know, she got her name brand clothes now. She done changed up her style. She done made it, so. Why in the world was somebody who got money Settle for somebody who ain't gonna be on the same level as them. Just like she said to like Skin and Keisha. She said, because then you got to worry about a nine to five guy 
wonder why you staying up so late why you gotta go out here why you gotta go out there who calling you she said one will treat you different than the other and i can understand that and then she also said this you know you want a guy who wants the same as in at uh, the same ambitious level as you I don't understand now. Because why would you want to be around somebody or be with somebody and they don't understand why you're doing certain things or they can't keep up with you? Then it's not it's not necessarily saying you have to take care of them, but it's going to get to a point where, you know, things are going to get rocky. You won't be walking around getting invited to places, going places, doing stuff. Your spouse may not can come. Then also might feel like <clears throat> they can't afford it. They might start getting jealous of you. Then you got to worry about them trying to expose you, them trying to write stories on you, them trying to do all types of little spiteful stuff because they will do it. So I see what she means. And so with a person with money, a person with money will do the same thing too to try to get one up on you, you know? So I see, I see, I see the... The people's point of view, and I see her point of view. So I'm kind of out of balance. Because she's in a different ball game. Eventually, she wants to have a rich house. She wants to live in Calabasas. <laughs> Y'all know where that's at. She wants to have the gated community. She wants to have the lavish life. Who don't? So I get it. And like, then you gotta think about it. A man, sometimes, so, well certain men can't handle their, their woman making more money than them. So they are, um, They get jealous, or they don't want no parts, or they try to do spiteful things to you, or they try to jeopardize your money, they try to make sure you stay in a woman's place. Y'all understand, y'all know how it is. It's just like, it's crazy, because I see what she's talking about, and I see what the people are talking about. But y'all gotta think. Or why she made the comment in the first place. She feel, she feel like she at the point in her career where she can go for that baller now. You know, she can finally get the guy that she really wants. She admitted every woman wants a man who can provide and take care of her when times get hard. And every man wants a woman who can equally hold her own as well too in case something happens to him. Right? So you you just got to understand both perspectives of it. Like, you want somebody who can either be above you or matching you at least in a little one up. You don't want nobody who is not successful, not ambitious, not trying to go out and get it or, or BSing around or, or let's say you're not into drugs and alcohol, they're into drugs and alcohol. Y'all automatically gonna have problems if somebody's always drinking and smoking weed or if this person is always doing things that's not compatible with you. <clears throat> or sometimes you will be able to meet that person who will be able to compromise for you and change their ways if they feel it's worth it. But that takes time. You have to trust that person and you know, cause some people really like these drugs. 
They don't need it at home. You know, you know how folks are. So it's just like, either way, I see where she's coming from. If you don't want nobody, you're going to have to eventually take care of her. Just like, um, what's her name? Y'all know her. Super. With her man, she's a millionaire. Her man ain't no millionaire. He's just a regular old guy. Then he ended up, when she blew up, I think a year or two after that, he ended up cheating on her. And then she took him back. You know? So it's like either way it goes. And I didn't even get started on that because I don't even know, damn. But it's not always about the money, it's about the love too, but you got to look at it. And once a cheater, always a cheater. Because they did, they just sold you that they devalued your, your worth. And they didn't give a damn, you know. So I'm like, uh um, you cheat on me, I might give you a chance the first time. But the second time you do it, oh no. You got to go. You got to get up out of here. You got to get away from me. Because that means you, you don't respect me. Because if I already caught you one time and then you turn around and you do it again, yeah, you don't give a fuck about me. You just care about what you can get from me or how far can you get with me or, or, or where you gonna go, you know? Hell no. Nah. That's why I said <clears throat> nobody truly knows where I am going. Nobody truly knows. You don't even know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. God only knows. So you just gotta weigh out your waters, man. And that's what I do. I don't need to be sweating the small stuff. I don't be sweating nothing. I just live my life. I'm just learning to just live my life and be happy with what I have and appreciate what I have and work with what I have and get more on my grind. You guys understand this right here is a hustle. It's a hustle. Social media, all that shit. Being famous is home. Because you got to keep all that shit up. Like, and then on top of that, like, the way this world is set up, you got to be careful. Because people will do anything for clout. Cardi B said it best. Watch, folks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang. This egg roll and hot dog mukbang. I know it was random as hell. But don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the quality of this video. I got a new ring light. We're trying to amp it up. We're trying to step it up around here. I'm really trying to get serious about this. Uh, I'm slowly transitioning and taking my time with stuff. So y'all will see in the videos to come. Content's going to get a lot better. Thumbnail, all that stuff. It's just, it takes time, you guys. This is a hard work. May not look like it now, but it is. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate everything. And you guys have a good one.